Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So we're going to be talking about the new update coming out primarily about hypercharge. So first off, I just want to say like, I don't want to be extremely pessimistic or whatever, but me personally, as like a competitive player in the game, I played the game since day one of beta. I am pretty worried um, about what I've seen so far from hypercharge. I always enjoy a skill games where it feels like you can outplay a lot of people, stuff like that. And uh, with Gears, I kind of noticed like it did take away from that a decent amount. Um, you can definitely run people down a lot easier, uh, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, Hypercharge, I have a very bad feeling. <laughs> so first off, I just want to say that the rest of the update, I am a pretty big fan of. I like the new Brawlers coming out. I love the new cosmetics. Um, one other thing that I'm not, I can understand, but I'm not a huge fan of is like heist, bounty, they're not going to be around permanently like everything else is. But getting to hypercharge again, I was thoroughly enjoying myself and, uh, you know, I always do with the Brawl Talks. Most of them are pretty good. They've had a pretty good run this year. Um, but hypercharge, when I saw the descriptions and some of the clips, like Colt getting the wider shot, like increased speed, increased attack damage. It literally seems like some gimmick that shouldn't really be in like the core gameplay of the game. And, um, you know, like I said, I've played a lot of skill-based games over my years of gaming. I've been playing video games since I was like four years old, five years old, something like that. Um, my biggest pet peeve is when there's not a lot of outplay potential, right? So I play a lot of PvP. I played tons of MOBAs, etc., stuff like that. And the most frustrating thing is when there's just nothing you can do. Like, no matter how good you are at the game, if someone has a certain ability at a certain point in time in the game, you just, there's nothing you can do. I've quit many games after feeling like this. Um, <laughs> and I really hope it doesn't happen to Brawl Stars. And obviously, I haven't even tested it yet. I don't have the dev build yet. So I could just be, like, completely, like, over-exaggerating. But I, for one, am very nervous about Hypercharge, and it's starting off with six Brawlers. From my understanding, they want to give it to every Brawler, they're going to roll out six new ones with each update. So I think it's just going to be... I don't know what you're going to do at a certain point in the game. And another thing that I'm very worried about, one of the reasons why I always loved Brawl Stars is because I love Supercell games, right? I played Clash of Clans. Clash Royale, I was top 100 in Clash Royale for a while uh, when the game was still relatively new, but it was always like extremely pay to win. Same with Clash of Clans, very pay to win. I was pretty high up in Clash of Clans. I, I didn't make top 200 in it, but I was high up as well. Um, and then Brawl Stars came along. And I'm like, wait, this is like a Supercell game that's not like super pay to win. Like, what's going on here? I think the Brawl Stars team might be honest. Like, like they're making a really good game and it's not... I think mobile games in general, for the most part, one thing that holds them back is they're very pay to win. There's not like, I prefer games like League of Legends, I think is perfect how everyone gets the same stats, whatever, like you start level one and, uh, you know, you just rank up through the game. You can buy cosmetics, new characters, stuff like that. But when everyone loads into the game, they're all the same level. Um, and obviously Brawl Stars, like you play ladder, like Power League, whatever, you're not going to load in the same level, but... In my opinion, compared to other Supercell games, it wasn't as bad. Like Clash Royale, Clash Clans, I don't even know how much it costs like, <laughs> to max out like a base now, or like max out like some decks with evolutions and stuff like that. I do play Clash Royale sometimes casually. But Brawl Stars, I always thought, was definitely like the least pay-to-win Supercell game. And, I mean, I've been playing it since it came out once again, so I've always been like maxed out or close to maxed out. But I'm more worried for like... The people that are newer to the game or they've been playing for like two years whatever they don't have a ton of money to put into the game especially one thing that's fly like been flying under the radar is that they're increasing the amount of um how do they word it i don't know like the strength in leveling up from like power 10 to like power 11 or like any like level up they're trying to make level ups more exciting but you know in that sense it is pay to win like i feel like at this point in the game like if you're power like 10 someone's power 11 like yeah they have extra gear stuff like that your stats are like slightly worse but you can still beat them and i feel like they're kind of going away from that they're trying to make it so you have to level up more to play the game at a high level like high trophies high power league etc i don't personally think that's a good thing 
Um, like I said, it doesn't really affect me as much, but I think it's just... I don't know. I think it... <laughs> I would rather them, like, try improving on, like, stuff to make the game more enjoyable than having to make, uh, I don't know, people spend more money or whatever to level up. And I don't know, like, I could just be like, yeah, guys, like, make sure you use code OG, use code OG, of course, you can <laughs> spend money. But I prefer Brawl Stars, like, I, I love this game, right? I've played it for, like, over five years now, like, it's been, like, a very big part of my life. Um, and it's just kind of, it, I don't know, I just feels really weird seeing like all this stuff in one update coming and on top of that like clash royale like clash clans like they've both had like terrible community feedback for like evolutions super troops whatever it is in clash clans so it, it just like we're seeing like all this i don't understand it personally um i can understand if they want to add more depth to the game uh but i don't think like clicking a button and just instantly getting all your stats boosted um by like 30 percent or whatever and making your super like way more broken i don't think that's adding skill to the game i think it's doing the opposite um there's <laughs> no interesting mechanic about it you press a button you become like much stronger like it's just i can't really support that morally i think it kind of goes against uh how i think the game should be but I could, this is all just, like, my first impression. I have as much information as you guys do at this point. So I could be, like, once again, like, just being, like, completely, like, blowing things out of the water. And to be fair, I do think Supercell has a very, uh, Brawl Stars in particular, has a very good dev team. And, uh, I think Adrian in particular has done a really good job balancing the game, the gadgets, and everything since he's taken over. So, you know, I, I think it's kind of tough, but, like, um, with the information I've been given at this point, but I do still have faith in them. Uh, to make things right, and I definitely know they want the game to do well, of course. Um, I just hope that money doesn't prioritize, like, the quality of the game at uh, this point in Brawl Stars, because it's been around for a while, like I said, so I hope it's, like, they genuinely, like, want, like, long-term health for the game instead of, like, just kind of, like, cashing out, you know? Like, all right, like, our game's going down, let's make some money, stuff like that. I'm not saying that's what they're doing. Like I said, Supertel, uh, Brawl Stars has a great dev team. I just, like, really, like, you know, I'm worried for the game, genuinely. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see how everything goes. And the six Brawlers, I get it, they're going to be completely busted as well. So, that's gonna be something for worlds uh which is in two months lcq which is in a month that everyone there is gonna have to take into consideration i personally hope that they just like perma ban those six brawlers i think it'd be better for the event like just let people finish the year off like how they've been playing all year but i doubt they'll do that i think they probably want to like show off the new um i don't know the new ability um hypercharge <laughs> And yeah, we're gonna have to see how that plays out, but I'm pretty disappointed with it off of my first impression. There's not a lot that I like. It is pretty expensive, 299 gems, uh, or you can, like, not, I think it's 9,000 or 999 coins. Um, coins are pretty difficult to come across, and um, yeah, like, they gave us a bunch of coins for masteries and stuff like that, but we get... 2,000 coins for, like, doing the mastery, like, up to the last coin uh, reward part, and it's at minimum 5,000 per brawler, uh, and they're going to be releasing hypercharge for every brawler, and there's going to be more brawlers coming out, so it does not even cover, like, half of it if you are using your mastery coins for that, and, yeah, I mean, progression hasn't really felt the best with Club League getting cut in half, and, uh, I don't know. I just I know they said they're gonna work on Club League in the future too, and I kind of wish they did that instead of added hypercharge. I'm pretty like I don't I I don't want to be pessimistic, but it's I'm not seeing a lot of positives for adding hypercharge to the game from a professional player like for like I don't know like I've played pro for like three four years something like that like since the first tournament I'd say um, and. Yeah, I just, I have a really bad gut feeling, guys. So I just wanted to be straight up with you. I don't want to, like, be, like, fake. 
I guess, or just have to act a certain way. Like I am tier three, but I think Supercell is a pretty good company with like letting people speak their minds. <laughs> Please don't take my code away. <laughs> no, I, I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Let me know what you guys think of Hypercharge and the rest of the update. Like I said, I do really enjoy the rest of the update. Um, I just think this is such a huge thing to add to the game. And I really, like, really hope that it's manageable and it doesn't just take over the game. Because I've played games where it's like something new comes out and it ruins the whole experience. Like, like a Clash Royale right now, I have never seen a community, like, dislike their, like, devs as much as they do in Clash Royale right now. Like, I've, I don't know. It's, like, very, like, they feel very out of touch. But I don't want to, like, talk... Like, I'm sure everyone's just doing their best. They want the game to be good as well. Um, we just got to have trust and faith in the dev team at this point. There's nothing we can do. Uh, we're just players, so we are going to just got to play the cards you're dealt, right? So, yeah, that's going to be it. I kind of just wanted to rant and do something slightly different um and just kind of because i feel like it's such a big thing like i don't want to like not cover it i know i was kind of just like waffling for like 10 minutes but hopefully you guys can give me your opinion as well and uh yeah make sure you guys use code og and buy all the 299 gem offers don't use your coins guys use those in gold skins get every single gem offer use code og no, i'm kidding but uh yeah thank you so much guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed a little bit change of pace and uh I'll see you guys soon, and hope for the best for the update. Peace, guys.